we had gotten warning that something was going to happen on yesterday to the churches. It's this graffiti that's upsetting some pastors and church members across Oak Cliff right now. When I saw it, 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 it bothered me, it really troubled me that someone would, would come to this level and, and stoop to this level. Offensive messages faith leaders say found spray painted in bright red across the walls of at least six churches in the Singing Hills community on Sunday. And a lot of the churches have the same message. They go up on the steeple and write it. At Beth Eden Baptist Church, some unknown vandals climbed the roof, painting the words lie along three sides of the church's steeple. Pastor Clarence Preston had to address the crime with the congregation. It was very intentional, purposeful and, in, and intentional to do such things. A couple of blocks away, even more disturbing messages left across the walls at St. Luke Presbyterian Church. Across the street, you can see folks at St. Philip's tried scrubbing the graffiti off. Something got to be done on this year. We got we to gotta check something out here. Bishop Ray Campbell pastors the Ideal Family Church nearby. He says faith leaders are galvanizing and working with police to address the vandalism. The targeted churches don't know what message the culprits are trying to send, but pastors in this area say they're staying vigilant. The church is, is the people. We are, we are the church and we, we will move forward. Meantime, churches are urging neighbors to help look out for any suspicious activity. In Dallas, I'm Demond Fernandez.